What is going on, everybody? This is MYG Jeff BT3285, and I'm just here for more roster shuffling surrounding the New York Football Giants. Now, I know yesterday in my previous video, I talked about how the Giants ended up releasing four players off the off the 53-man roster, and that, of course, is linebacker Austin Calitro, tight end Tanner Hudson, defensive lineman Nicholas Williams, as well as offensive lineman Max Garcia. Well, those actually ended up just being procedural moves as the Giants were just trying to work out the contract situations with those guys, and they ended up, the Giants signed back at least three of those guys to the active roster, that, of course, being Austin Calitro, Tanner Hudson, and Nicholas Williams, and the New York Giants ended up signing Max Garcia back, but it's not to the 53-man roster. He's been signed to the practice squad, and as those procedural moves for the New York Giants going forward, they ended up officially putting offensive lineman Shane Lemieux, outside linebacker Ellison Smith, and cornerback Rodarius Williams all on injured reserve, and they're going to miss at least the first four games of the season. So right now the New York Giants have currently two players that are on the pup list, that of course being Nicholas Gates as well as Matt Pear, and now they have three players that are on the active injured reserve list just to begin the season, and that of course is Shane Lemieux, Ellison Smith, and Rodarius Williams. So at least for the first quarter, about a quarter of the season, the New York Giants are going to be missing about four or five key players to begin the season. Now in terms of the moves that were made procedurally today, the New York Giants ended up shuffling a little bit of their practice squad going into today. As this morning, the New York Giants have officially waived Darren Evans, Roy, Mbati Roy Mbatika, Garrett McGinnon, and Nate Metters off of their practice squad and in corresponding move the New York Giants ended up signing offensive lineman Wyatt Davis, defensive lineman Henry Mondeau, defensive back Tony Jefferson who I talked about yesterday in my previous video as well as linebacker Charles Wiley. And just a little bit of a, a background against these guys. Wyatt Davis right now he's a 6'4", 315 pound offensive lineman who is Played with the Ohio State Buckeyes as a third round pick back in 2021, but he also recorded no, he played in six games, he was active for six games for the Minnesota Vikings, but didn't record any type of stats when it came to uh, the game days. So Wyatt Davis is going to be a guy who is a younger player right now, 24 years old, 23, 24 years old. The Giants are going to develop on their offensive line depth practice squad for the team going forward. So you have to see what the New York Giants have and what they see in this kid who's still a young player and maybe if Bobby Johnson and the rest of that team can be able to develop him for this uh, on the practice squad, maybe he could be a piece for this offensive line going forward. Now in terms of Henry Mondo, he was an undrafted free agent that came out of Pittsburgh. He came out of uh, UNLV, I believe, coming in 2018. So he's right now a guy, I'm sorry, he was an undrafted free agent in 2019 out of Oregon, 6'4", 218 pounds. He's played a couple years in Pittsburgh for the Pittsburgh Steelers, and he right now has stats of at least 26 games played where he has a total of 21 total tackles, 9 solo, 12 assisted. He has 2 sacks recorded, and that's pretty much it. So Henry Mondo is going to be another guy that the New York Giants are going to be developing on that practice squad. He's 26 years old as well. And of course, I have to talk about Charles Wiley, who is an undrafted free agent. And he was signed to the Baltimore Ravens as an undrafted free agent back in this. It actually, this is going to be his rookie year, 24 years old. He's... 6'2", 251 pounds. He went to Texas San Antonio College back in 2021 after he was a transfer from, from Mississippi back in 2016. So this guy's had a long road in terms of his college career. But now he's going to be an undrafted free agent going into this year. And the New York Giants figured they want to see what this kid can do, stash him on the practice squad, and see what he can bring to this team going forward. So... Those are some of the moves right now that the New York Giants have made in terms of their updated roster at the moment. As today, the New York Giants have obviously re-signed Austin Calitro, Tanner Hudson, and Nicholas Williams. Those were made, picks made, or those were signings made late last night. And Max Garcia is officially back on the practice squad. And in corresponding moves, the New York Giants have put in um, Shane Lemieux, Ellison Smith, and Rodarius Williams 
on the injured injured reserve to begin the season, so they will miss at least the first four games, and we'll have to evaluate what's going to happen after that. In terms of the moves today, the New York Giants have officially released Darren Evans, Roy Ambatika, Garrett McGinnon, and Nate Metters off the practice squad, and they have signed Wyatt Davis, Henry Mondo, Tony Jefferson, and Charles Wiley to their practice squad going forward. So we'll have to see if there's going to be more procedural moves the rest of today as well as going forward as the New York Giants continue to prepare for the 2021, uh, 2022 NFL regular season starting on September 11th against the Tennessee Titans. So. That's just my procedural moves I wanted to give you guys. If you like this video, please hit the like button below. Subscribe if you haven't already to NYG Jeffy T3285 for more breaking news updates, roster and injury chatter surrounding the New York football giants, as well as the Brooklyn Nets, New York Mets, WWE Wrestling, and Food for Thought. Turn on the bell for notifications on when the next video or short is going to be dropping on the channel. And let me know in the comments section what you think about these procedural moves the New York Giants have made, bringing in Wyatt Davis, Henry Mondone, Tony Jefferson, and Charles Wiley to the practice squad. And if these are guys that could potentially be players that are going to be elevated to the regular season as, as soon as... The first week against the Tennessee Titans. I believe Tony Jefferson will be one of them. We'll have to see on the other three guys. But I hope everybody enjoys the rest of your Thursday morning slash afternoon. Take it easy and let's go New York football giants. Together blue everyone.